what's up and welcome back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we are going to be going through our lookbook which will basically be an unboxing of none other than the Air Max 96 metallic silvers which was a Nike Supreme collab. Let's get a quick look. <laughs> Welcome back to another Supreme Lookbook Thursday. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe now as well as hit that like if you enjoy this video. Also, feel free to leave me any comments or questions down below. Let me know how you guys did this week for Supreme. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on, as well as be sure to check out our membership tiers. We've got some great perks on there, so be sure to check that out as well as our merch store. All right, so let's jump into it. We're going to start off with an overview of the Air Max 96s. This is the first Air Max 96 that I've done on the channel, so I'm pretty excited stoked to do this Supreme Nike collab. Then I'm going to bring out the socks I was able to cop in store as well. I also got a pair online. I'm kind of a little bummed I didn't get a black one, but red is what I think will work best with this specific colorway that I was able to pick up. Then we're going to talk about the size and fit on the shoe, followed by some sellout times. Let's discuss how quickly certain items went on the Supreme website this morning. Hopefully you guys were able to hop in there and tune into Roscoe and I in the AM. And then we're going to conclude with how these shoes are currently doing on the retail market. So let's jump into this overview and look at this beautiful colorway. So as you guys know, Supreme on their site dropped three different colors ways but they would not be surprised if we do see these on the sneakers app which is a pretty common thing that nike tends to do is they tend to drop the shoes on the app after it's been dropped on the supreme site and it's definitely obvious that nike is getting smart and they're starting to collapse with shoes that aren't as popular through Nike alone. And so I can tell that they are definitely gonna try and push this 90 Air Max 96. And I think they did an incredible job with this. It kind of reminds me of the clocks actually in a way, just because of that see-through transparent paneling that we've got that even goes into the toe box. So as you guys can see, this is probably the fa my favorite part of the shoe personally, and it is the paneling that they've added here. And it is completely transparent on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. And you can actually get a good detail of your socks, depending on what socks you do decide to wear underneath here. I will say one thing, it was a little toasty outside and my feet did kind of fog up the uh, plastic on here a little bit. That didn't happen on the clots and it could have been because it was a cooler day, but I did notice that. Um, that is the only downfall I think that I noticed with this transparent look. Other than that, I think it's so fire that you're able to see the actual socks that you decide to pair with on these shoes. As you guys know, I'm really into the sock game, so pretty stoked to have another shoe that's gonna allow me to be able to see my socks underneath. As we work our way into the tongue, we've got a nice metallic silver tongue and again, we've got some nice dual branding on here with the Supreme Box logo and the Nike swoosh in its typical white and red color scheme. And then we've got that Supreme underneath with some nice kind of metallic-y silver laces to match that. We've also got Supreme actually all the way around the tongue. It really just outlines. It's a little hard to see just because the laces do block it depending on how you tie these, uh, but they did do a good job with really braiding that Supreme all the way around the tongue. So let's take a closer look at some of those details.
so now let's kind of work our way to the back of the shoe. We've got that nice silvery mesh that completes the shoe all the way to the heel and top of that collar. As we work our way to the back of the shoe, this is where we're really getting those overlays and pops of that just beautiful sparkly metallic color scheme. And then we've got just a nice metallic-y red swoosh mark on the back on each side. And those are some nice mini swooshes. Then we've got that just dope Supreme and it's kind of got that 3D effect on the back of that heel counter there in that nice silver colorway. And then we've also got some nice tumbling going on on the back of that leather for the silver on the heel, which I think is just a nice subtle detail. As we work our way down the midsole, we've got our signature air bubbles that we see on the Air Max 96. And it's just covered by a nice simple white midsole. And then we've got a black outsole with that kind of cool detail on the bottom where it says air. And then when we look in the insole, we've got, of course, that nice popping bright red and white Supreme on the insole that you can see through, through the side panels and through that toe box, which I think is really crisp and clean. All right, so now let's just get some nice close-up detail shots of what the finishing touches look like on this silhouette. So I did forget to mention, because I'm just seeing it now, is that we also have that nice little detail of the Supreme on the lace tips there, which is just a nice little subtle addition. Okay, so now I just want to bring out the socks that I managed to cop. As you guys know, it was kind of strange sizing. Um, I got a size three in the socks, which typically, I guess, is a 9.5 to 11 in women's and an eight to 9.5 in men's and these actually fit me perfectly and the reason being these are very tight fitted socks these are also just a light material so if you guys are wondering the thickness of these these are not thick at all but you can tell that these are going to be great workout socks so you've got the left and right on each foot with that big bold supreme on the front and nike swoosh on the bottom what i love so much about these and this specific shoe is that you can actually see the nike swoosh through that toe box and I feel like just the ribbing on this sock really goes so well with the side panelings that are transparent on here because it just really pops with that. Uh, but definitely glad that I got the red colorway because I think red is definitely going to go so much better with this specific colorway than the black. Uh, there were also another, a few other options. So we had the black option and the camo option. Out of the three though, the silver or metallic silvers were by far my favorite. This actually reminds me of the silver bullets on the Air Max 97 silhouette. It's very, very similar in colorway. I actually saw that they were calling it the silver bullet on certain sites. So definitely got some close similarities there. Now let's get into styling. So I basically wore what clothes I had in my uh, car at the moment. So luckily I had some items that would go with these shoes. The first look I wore was a sweatsuit by J the Jordan brand and it was all gray. I think silver metallic obviously is a close friend of the gray colorway. So all gray just I think worked really well, especially with those Jordan details in that red. Same kind of accents on the metallic silvers. 
and uh, I think with that crop topped hoodie and those just nice gray sweats that worked so well where I feel like the look just all came together with all of the colors meshing and molding as one. And for the second look, I wanted to give you guys kind of a darker theme so you could see what the silver metallics actually look like with a black pair of Jumpman baggier cargo pants and that fox leather, fox leather, faux leather. And uh, that faux leather just really had a nice sheen to it. These shoes have a nice sheen to it. So I really wanted to play off of that. Paired that with a white tank that I tucked into those pants with my Supreme denim logo jacket. With which obviously you guys are gonna be seeing me wearing that denim jacket a lot, like this hat. Um, the denim just is gonna basically go with everything and anything, so I just kind of wanted to prepackage that with a nice supreme piece to add to that second look. All right, you guys let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the two. My name and wish me the worst and stole us, yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But Yancey prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up in LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us. That only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they are doubt us. Yeah, they doubt us, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs. Underestimated, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs. All right, so now let's just quickly look at the box because I want to show you guys. This is a really nice box and it actually has Supreme on both sides and it's just a crisp, nice, clean box. It's always nice, you know, to have a nice box when you're unboxing shoes and I think they did a nice job with this one. It's nice, simple. Um, we also had a hang tag that I want to show you real quick. Pull that out. Uh, this also is a nice hang tag that came with the shoe as well. All right, so let's talk about sizing. So this is my first time getting an Air Max 96 and this actually fit me to a T in 7.5. So again, I do have narrow high arch feet. So depending on whether or not you have flat feet or if you have wide feet, that will also decipher whether or not this type of sizing that works for me is going to work for you. Uh, but I would say on this one, definitely stay true to size. All right, so now let's move on to the sellout times and talk about some of the items that sold out the fastest in the US. 
I tried to go for the shoes online and they were sold out before I could even click in a size. Of course, my size and smaller sizes do tend to sell out the fastest. I feel like everybody does tend to go for the lady sizes, which unfortunately I heard most people that copped, copped in larger sizes, which makes sense. Um, so first to go was actually the black socks in the size two, followed by the metallic silvers in a size seven, then the blacks in the 6.5, followed again by a 6.5 silver. Those all went under nine seconds. Then we have the small box zip up hooded sweatshirt in the light pink that went in a small. It makes sense as, you know, when I do tend to see that kind of light pink colorway, that tends to kind of fly off the shelves, especially in the small, because I know people are getting that for the ladies. Um, then a size six in the silver went 9.6 seconds, followed by a black colorway in that 96 in a size six, and then the camo in a size 6.5, then a camo in a 7.5 went in nine seconds. Basically, it looks like a lot of the smaller sizes in all three colorways flew under 10 seconds and it looks like the black socks definitely did a little bit better than the red socks as those did tend to fly off the shelves a little bit faster. The next item uh, that went pretty fast, which I definitely called earlier was the tapestry anorak. I do think that that was a very fresh, cool design. I just personally don't know where I'm gonna wear that even though I think that the pink tapestry anorak was fire, especially with the cream and that baby pink. Uh, so that definitely flew in an XL on a small in 11 seconds. Uh, and then it looks like the blue in an XL did pretty well as well. Uh, but there you have it for the sellout times. Now let's talk about resale for these shoes. So all three colorways sold at retail for 175 and currently all three colors are in the same margins. They're going between 225 to $300. All right, you guys, that is it for this lookbook. It was pretty light this week. I only wanted really two items and I was able to get those in store and I was so happy that I was able to do that so I could put these looks together for you. I only did two looks today because I had to work and run to the store so it was pretty crazy and I was playing with light. Unfortunately, there's just not enough time in the day. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this lookbook. Be on the lookout as well for all of our new videos. They're going to be coming out. There's so much heat. So be sure to hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in. Be sure to hit that subscribe. Also, if you have not already hit that like button, do so now, as well as leave me any comments or questions. How did you guys do this week down below? Hit that join button if you haven't already checked out our membership perks, as well as our merch store. All right, you guys, until next time, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next video.